Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. Jake Paul's next opponent has been announced. He's taking on the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyron Woodley, who won his title back in 2016 at UFC 201, where he landed a nasty right hand in the first round, dropping Robbie Lawler on the bridge of his nose. Tyron Woodley is a two-time All-American, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, an NCAA Division I wrestler, a man that fought his entire career through the trenches of the mixed martial arts cages, back in strike force. T, T Wood was there and he got his opportunity in 2016 and he landed a nasty knockout. Tyron Woodley ruled the Ultimate Fighting Championship 2016, 2017, 2018. He dominated the welterweight division. Jake Paul, in his fourth fight, is see, receiving more attention than any boxer in the history of the sport, proving that he only has one punch knockout power. Jake, so far, hasn't fought anybody in terms of being a, a world-class boxer, but he's received world-class attention in his first three fights, Anissa Gibb, Williams, and Ben Askren, all knockouts, all in the first or second round. His stock has blown up as high as it's gonna get. And Tyron Woodley at 39 years old is coming into boxing, trying to do something different, trying to defeat the hype train of Jake Paul. Somebody's gonna do it. And Tyron Woodley feels like he has enough power to go out there and just slam him, knock Jake Paul out. Jake Paul in this fight is gonna be the younger guy, the younger man. He's still 24 years old. There's a 15 year age disparity. 15 years, that's a huge gap. Tyron Woodley's the smaller man. He fought at a well, as a welterweight at 170 pounds in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He's probably gonna put on weight. We saw Ben Askren put on weight before he got dropped. But what is Tyron Woodley trying to go out there and accomplish at 39 years old. If he can stop Jake Paul, he will get a huge amount of attention and, and, and Jake Paul will be defeated. If he loses this fight, Tyron Woodley is gonna be embarrassed. An ex-UFC champion, a guy that was on top, going in there against, a, not a world-class boxer, a guy who's new in his career, if Tyron Woodley gets dropped, if he gets dropped the way some of these other guys have, it will be absolutely embarrassing. And not just for him, for the Ultimate Fighting Championship, for their legacy as well. And Jake Paul knows that. He wants to go out there and tarnish not just the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. He wants to go out there and tarnish the UFC as well. This is going to be pretty interesting to see an ex-UFC champion go somewhere where he wants to go, he has the right to do it. He, he's taking over, you know, in wrestling, in mixed martial arts, he's great on the floor, he has tremendous power. Tyron Woodley, although he lost his last four fights in a row, he deserves this shot to go out and do what his good friend, Ben Askren, couldn't do. Can Tyron Woodley go out there, do what Ben couldn't do, go out there, destroy the hype train of Jake Paul? That's the question here. Or does Jake Paul just knock him out and grow even higher?